I actually thought I'd start recording the camera that you're looking at me with now uh, as it was taking the bait but as it turns out, as per usual, I'd hit record and it had not started recording that's brilliant I'll put it on the mat now. Lift it up, put it on the mat and I'll get in more <laughs> Bit of a ratty looking thing not a bad size. I can see straight away one of the hooks has come just through the gill plate. So what I'm going to do is before I even open its mouth, I'm just going to wiggle this one back into it. We don't flip. Because the last thing you want to do is damage them gill rakers. You use that to extract oxygen from the water. Your pike is playing up like this one, even though it's a small one, you can straddle it and then uh, that should stop it from flipping around so much. Now I've got control of it, if you just tilt its head back slightly, it'll open its mouth, look at its hooks out, the one's just very finely in the lip. There we go, taking the hook out, nice and simple. It's only a small jack, about four pound maybe. It's quite a nice fish in size, it's quite healthy, it's a bit ratty though. Got a bit of scrapes and fins and stuff, but he's a decent weight for what he should be this time of the year. I'll get him back, he's a bit lively, here we are. <laughs> and that's why we have the mat down. Right. I'll rest him in the net just for a couple of minutes, and then I'll let him go.
I am with it. Got it. <laughs> I would normally do a big strand like that, but I had lots of slack line. I had to make sure the fish was going to be hooked. Decent size. Oh, it's come off. <laughs> I don't know if you actually caught that on the underwater camera. It actually um, it dragged the bait away further downstream. This bait's a little bit screwed up now. I'll stick it back out there, you never know. Another pipe might have been drawn to the area by the commotion. It happens. <laughs> Away from where the camera was positioned. Um, you break up. Oh, look at that. I was about to say they are very cautious, but it's taking it. <laughs> Chuffing out. Maybe this is a little bit camera shy. It's only a small jack, again. A little bit bigger than the last one, I think. hooks is in the net. All I have to do is keep this fish very calm, uh, remove that hook first uh, before removing the one in the mouth. Now I'll just put my forceps down. Yeah, never have them too far away. So be very careful. I don't want this fish to damage itself on the hooks as it's thrashing around in the net. fish's mouth. Because I'm using live baits and striking very quickly as soon as they grab a hold of it um, just to avoid them deep deep hooking themselves. Oh, it's almost gone. <laughs> it almost went back into water. Right I've got both hooks out. There you are, the slimy little buggers. I'm trying not to let them get on the hooks. I want to remove them off the net. What I'll do is get the fish, remove the net. <laughs> We are on the mat. Look, Jack, a little bit bigger than the last one. Maybe pushing three pounds. Um, love a little fish. 
Only one hook in it, just like the last fish was. <clears throat> That's all you need. Let's get him back once again. Pristine. Oh, since with the smaller fish, it look better than the big ones, in there, especially on small waters where they get sort of caught a lot. So we're getting back, and uh, it seems to be a good taste so far. So I can get another one. It's three fish on the bank. You've seen two of them. Three of them. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. It's four fish on the bank now. But you just haven't seen one of them. Alright, we're getting back. And 